What's up guys, this is Base Brawler, and in this video I'm going to go over three things of news from Bullet. One is from last year. Uh, I didn't really want to go over this one too much because it wasn't really... It, I didn't feel like it was that important. I mean, I guess it is because it's part of Power Level Warrior Zero, but... Since there's more information that we have, I guess I could, you know, slightly go over it. Because it is... It is news, it is, you know, something that's... You know, an update pretty much on the whole Power Level Warrior Zero situation. So anyway, uh, you guys can read the whole thing right here. But I'm just going to, you know, lightly go over some of the things he says. So he says, uh, you know, happy holidays. You know, something like that. And he goes, I'm just checking to see how you're all doing. Give you some updates. And then so he goes on to say something like, he left the project to Fun Taurus. So Fun Taurus was supposed to, you know, he was supposed to be the main developer for the game. And Bullets was supposed to just be assisting him. But it turned out it was the other way around. So basically he said that Fun Taurus, you know, he's his I guess he's overwhelmed by his job, so he just stopped giving us updates. And I guess working on it in general. So. Bullet's working on his own game right now. In case you guys didn't know. He said he was going to make updates for Final Power Level Warrior. And I'll get to that in a second. But from this post. I believe he said something along the lines of. He's pretty much done with the Final Power Level Warrior. Instead of up in terms of updating things. For now at least. Like, adding new content, I mean, not like, you know, updates in general, because again, I'll get to that. But, when it comes to content, he's pretty much done with it for now. Uh, he might come back to it eventually, but due to what I'm going to share with you guys in the third post, I'm not so sure about that. So, and he said he wants to, I guess, make a remake of Legends Within or the first Power Level Warrior. Me, personally, I wouldn't mind either, but I would prefer Legends Within, because... If he can make it with full character models, which is what I was thinking he was going to do for his new game, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Even if he uses, like, the same maps from the new game that he's making, I wouldn't mind that. So, there's that bit of information if you want. I'll put his Facebook in the link of the, in the link in the description. And... In the in a link and yeah, you guys can read all the comments and stuff, and you guys can ask him some questions uh, regarding Power Level Warrior Zero. As of now, I don't think they're gonna release it, but Bullet said he might go ahead and you know touch it up a bit and then release it because it's pretty much almost done. I mean, there was a beta, and even if they release like a little bit more updates to the beta, that would be fine, and then just release that. They don't have to update it or anything. It's just so that players can, you know, have that game going at the same time. Maybe even just add in models from the other games. But, you know, it's supposed to be fitting for the art style that he, the new game has. So, yeah. Then there's this one. Uh, this one's talking about the Bullet website. I'm not going to go over this one too much. But, supposedly, someone... Is reporting his website for having, I guess, inappropriate content for, I guess, children. Uh, that doesn't even make any sense. Well, here's the thing. The website itself isn't being taken down. It's just Facebook is blocking sharing. Like, you can't share the website because apparently it's inappropriate. Uh, and, uh, excuse my language, but that is complete utter bullshit. I don't see anything on his page that is inappropriate. So, this might have to do with the third post, which is coming up, but... I'm assuming someone... I guess reported his website, because... It, it looks like, you know, again, quotation marks, it looks like Dragon Ball Z. Which, I mean, the game is inspired from Dragon Ball Z, but, I mean, you could argue that, like, all those high school animes and stuff... I don't know if you say it plural anime or animes, I don't know, but they all have it to where, like, you know, there's essentially the same plot, same art style, blah, 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 and those don't get reported, 
Okay. Cool. Different characters. Yeah. Carrots, not Goku. Vegetable is not Vegeta. And Sickle is not Frieza. So, there you go. Alright, here we go. This is the main... This is the, um... Meat and potatoes of this whole thing. Uh, so, Bullet says this is a bad way to start 2020. And, basically... He assumes... They haven't told him exactly why... He assumes the reason why they are not allowing him to leave Power Level Warrior on the Google Play Store is because it has Dragon Ball characters. Now, like I just said a second ago, Kara is not Ve <laughs> Kara is not Goku, Vegetable is not Vegeta, Sickle is not Frieza, and Hopset is not Piccolo. That one's even gender swapped, so can't even say they're the same gender. Uh, the transformations have different names as well, and, yeah. So, if someone's gonna report his game for copying... If anything, there's a bunch of other Dragon Ball games that are still on the App Store that copy from Dragon Ball Z. They use the same characters, same character names, same blast names. Bullet doesn't even have the same key blast names. They're different names. And I guess the art style is what people are concerned about. But even that, it's like... Even within the own, I guess, entity of Dragon Ball, Xeno Goku is not the same as normal Goku. They're not the same character. They're both different Gokus. It's just like, um... Within my manga, like, Rice and Rosado are... You know, they have the same pathways... Like, the same upbringing, but they're different characters. They're not the same. They have the same looks. They have similar... Similar DNA, a similar bloodline, but they're not the same character. And that's how it is with this. Carrot, Vegetable, and Sickle are not Dragon Ball Z characters. They are power level warrior characters. Are they inspired by Dragon Ball characters? Do they look like Dragon Ball characters? Yes. But are they the same thing? No. Carrot doesn't get sent to, you know, planet Earth when he's a child. And he has an owner named Gohan, who's essentially his grandfather. Not really, but you know what I mean. His teacher... And he doesn't encounter a lady named Bulma, and then that starts Power Level Warrior. No. They're not the same character. Vegetable doesn't start taking over planets, and then he meets Carrot, and then he fights Frieza. No, he's not the same character. He doesn't go through the same thing. And then Sickle... Sickle is not... A, well, he, he's kind of similar to Frieza, but but that's just my manga. That, that's just talking about my manga. The game is a different story. The game, he doesn't have a story. He doesn't have a story in the game. So, you can't compare these characters to Dragon Ball characters. Aside from the looks. They're not the same thing. At all. They're just inspirations. They're inspired characters. And this has happened pretty much every year. You know, even in 2017, no one really talked about it too much. But in 2018, that's when that Justin Boaz guy, I think that's what his name is, or something like that. But he reported the game because it had Dragon Ball characters. Again, quotation mark, Dragon Ball characters. Even though it didn't. But he reported the game, and Bullet was afraid that the game was going to get taken down. Does this mean that I think the game's going to get taken down? Well, honestly, I don't know. I hope it does, though. Uh, <laughs> take it down. <laughs> I hope it does not, though. I hope it stays up. But I don't think it's going to get taken down. I mean, again, as you can see right here, it was rejected, but... I mean, if enough people say, hey, Carrot is not Goku, 
Vegetable is not Vegeta. They are not the same characters. At all. They just look the same. They just have different features. Even their art style doesn't look the same. I mean, they have the same shapes for the hair and all that, but the art style is different. So if someone were to draw a picture of Vegeta, they they can't do that. Your drawing is going to take... Sorry, your drawing that is... That is infringement of copyright. No. <laughs> no, that that's not how it works. I'm sorry, people. That is not how it works. But if Bula was claiming, oh, hey, this is Goku. This is Vegeta. This is Frieza. That would be a different story. Because you are not allowed to use specific characters. You are not allowed to use characters that have gone through a thing and are owned by another entity. You are not allowed to use those characters. But those are their names. Okay? Their names are Goku, Vegeta, and Frieza. In this game, they are not Goku, Vegeta, and Frieza. They are character... <laughs> character. They are carrot, vegetable, and sickle. They're different. And you say whatever you want about, oh, the art style, that's what matters. But like I just said earlier, if that were the case, then people who draw Dragon Balls of the art, they're doing illegal stuff. They're not allowed to do that. So why don't their drawings get taken down? See what I mean? See what I mean? It's like, and essentially, if you look at it that way, carrot, vegetable, and sickle, they're just drawings of Goku, Vegeta, and Frieza. Except they're not actually Goku, Vegeta, and Frieza. You know what I'm saying? So, unless someone writes a story, like, <laughs> behind each character and saying, oh, they went through the exact same thing Goku, Vegeta, and Frieza did, then it's, they're not the same thing. That's all I have to say. And I hope the game doesn't get removed for this. And I hope Bullet doesn't have to, you know, adjust the game. Because I do love playing as those characters. And it would suck if I would have to, you know, pay a bunch of money in Dragon Ball Legends to get Ultra Instinct Goku. Or Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. I'm not going to do that. I'm not. If I don't get those characters and those banners, I will have Power Level Warrior. And I'll say, hey guys, look. I got this. And they're not even the same forms. <laughs> they're not even the same transformations. They look alike, yes, but they're not the same transformations. But that'll be all for this video. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you all in the next one, whatever that may be. Have a nice day. Have an awesome uh, 2020. Uh, yeah, it's going well for me right now, even though I haven't done anything productive yet. But that's because I still have a broken arm. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Don't you be